If you're looking for it to enjoy the outdoors, maybe learn some gardening tricks, the volunteer garden is the perfect place for you. The garden as an idea of what can I grow? What can I grow here? What can I grow in a raised bed? I'd never had raised beds before. So um, I came out one year, I had the raised beds built. Um, I, I planted some things over here in the field that were squash, uh, pumpkins, things like that. And they did great, but they didn't spread out like I thought they would. And this year, I started with volunteers in January. And I was like, let's have a couple of workshops. And so we had a workshop on how to build raised beds. And I had like 16 people show up. So we built 10 or 11 raised beds. And they're what the garden is in today. We also have had workshops on how to build soil, how to make your own soil, how to plant seeds. We actually had a workshop uh, last week on how to plant winter plants, how to plant winter seeds for winter. So we planted some carrots. It's a great place to let out stress. And more people have grown gardens this year exponentially than any other year. So we've had a lot of people come out and work in the garden and it helps them with stress. It helps them feel good about something. They don't have to wear a mask if they're not working around other people, which they love and I love. So um, it works out really well. So this year we have decided to grow even further. So we are going to actually plant we planted fall, we did some tomatoes and some squash and things for fall, and we are also going to be planting for winter. We're going to become a year-round garden, and we are still looking for volunteers all the time. And we have people who need volunteer hours, whether they're at tech or they're in high school, um, and it's great for them. I can sign their paper for them just the same. And then they get their volunteer hours in. We've also had interns. When we have the workshops, I don't charge anything for those. I just want people to come and learn how to garden on their own. And no year has taught us better that it's a good idea to know how to do that than this year. We have a lot of people who stop by and go, hey, my tomato plants just aren't doing anything. What can I do? And so. I have those conversations with them of things they can try. In the spring I start seeds uh, more than we're going to use in the garden and I can help people have those, you know, get them started with some plants. I can answer some gardening questions. If One of the things that's great about being a volunteer in the garden is that if you volunteer in the garden you get a share in the garden, which means it doesn't cost you anything but time to have fresh vegetables every week once they start making. It has just really saved my life this year. Um, it reminds me of my family, of my mom. This all goes back to my mom was a huge, huge gardener and we always had a garden or she was growing exotic plants and my dad had worm farm and all these things that I want to do that they did. And so it kind of goes back to that. So it's just getting back to my roots in my hometown after living a myriad of other places. The garden is located at 3702 37th. You can drive by. I'm out here most mornings and most evenings. As um, soon as the weather cools down, I'll be out here a little more. And you can also find us on Facebook under The Volunteer Garden. You can email me at thevolunteergarden at gmail.com. Um, you can come out, one of our volunteers might be out here. You can stop if you want to volunteer. All you have to do is come out, take a tour of the garden with me, get a feel of what, what we're doing, and then we um, will let you come at your leisure whenever you are available to come.